welcome back to the channel and another episode of my horde control series so it is day 49 horde night um, I've cranked it up we're all still on insane difficulty um, however the other thing we have going for us now is that it's a 64 uh, zombie horde yeah I need some wood over here um, so yeah that's um, gonna be happening tonight uh, probably okay um, sorry I'm just getting some stuff going here turn this on we need to get some more iron going been cranking out steel I'll show you the base in a second um, let's get this going okay so this is our main base uh, as you can hear I got a generator running in the background uh, we got lights powered up above um, our garage door uh, I was starting to work on another horde base over here, which would be attached to the main building that I could separate with the drawbridge, but I never really got that far with it. Um, oh, we got somebody down here. Let's go take care of them here. Hey, don't hit my building. So yeah, I was working on it. I've been painting it and getting it up to date, it up to date down here. Kind of making it look like the original, but it's all, like, I mean, it's all up there is all, um, cobblestone this is all reinforced concrete same as this down here um, same as all this all reinforced concrete uh, so yeah I mean it's set up and ready to go I mean I removed the ladder that was out here put just some stuff that I can come down and look out if I need to kill some zombies and my way up now is around the back here right here I'll take you down to the mine here in a second and then we'll head over to the horde base so this is my mine shaft down here. Obviously, this is the uh, this is the POI, right? Um, but I've updated down here. This is all steel now. Um, sorry, not steel. This is all reinforced concrete painted to look like steel. This goes to the outside. Uh, the lights are always on. Uh, did I? No. Let's go turn this on. Okay, so uh, I got lights down in the mine now too. I thought I'd just throw them down here. We can check it out. Um, so I lit up my mine shaft down here, and I decided that I was gonna um, dig this way for the mine shaft. As you can see, how much digging I did. Um, I dug right into a, uh, a coal um, nitrate powder. There was a little bit of uh, lead and a bunch of iron here and then I dug straight this way I just kept digging kinda partially goes under the horde base um, I was thinking about having it come up to the horde base um, but I figured nah there's no point um, so yeah it goes all the way down here now I don't have an auger um, so I was digging this by hand definitely a steel pickaxe helps but I dug all this out goes all the way down here to my original iron mine which is like right up here if you look on the map here you know it's a little bit of distance away from our base but not that far and this is a massive iron and it had um, lead in here as well but it's like all iron like look at this just massive amounts of iron that I've been mining out of here uh, to get the steel that we need um, so let's kind of leave where is the way up here there's a uh, where are you uh, here here we go so this is the original hole I dug right here all right so let's get over to the horde base I got everything I need for tonight am I going the right way I'm not I to go this way um, Got everything I need for tonight. Um, so like I said, yeah, 64 zombie horde. Um, insane difficulty, so they're maxed out. Oh, somebody's awake in there now. Uh, so I've done a lot of work on the base here. Uh, I've, I think I've rectified the issue with the um, um, electric fence. So I'll show you that in a second. Let's go smoke this guy real fast. Get some XP for this. Yo. Insane.
insane difficulty, baby. Gotta love it. You can keep those. Uh, okay, so. Um, added a few plates back here in case they decide to break, break through black there. Back there. Blah. Added some plates up along the side of the uh, stairs here so they don't kind of break through and pull the stairs down. Plates are all along here, all the way to the top. Uh, all steel. This is all plates. This is all plates. All the way back. I added plates all the way back. So as you can see here and along the back here. Uh, and the same on the inside. This is all now reinforced concrete down here because demos are coming, right? So got to be ready for that. Um, there's some plates back here just to keep this reinforced back here. Now I did what I said I was going to do. I added uh, steel plates to the side of this. Um, I updated some of this under here. Um, these were originally reinforced concrete. So it's reinforced concrete underneath here, but this is all steel now. Uh, whatever blocks that were broken out in here are steel. Uh, but now there's also plates all along here. So hopefully they won't break through. They might, but they might not. We'll see. All this is steel plates all the way to the top, all along here. Uh, these are four pillars or four posts all the way up. So it's like four posts of steel rather than just one. Uh, so that should give it some good reinforcement. This is steel all the way up here, all the way along. And of course our base is still all steel. Uh, now what I've done here, as I change what I had, I had the posts coming off here before. So what I did is I moved them back and now we've got two sets of electric fences. So one here, right, when they're coming here, it'll stop and now it can be able to hit them in the head. And once they push through, they'll drop into here and get stunned again. So hopefully they won't be hitting on this while this thing punches them off. Um, and then what we've had problems with in the past is that those zombies will... Uh, let's get up here. And I'll show you what I've done over here as well. Let's I'll pop these open. Um, so what what happens um, is that they'll the, these will break after a certain amount of time the durability will wear out now I can't reach them obviously to fix them but what I've done is I've done two sets right so the first set will be going for the first half of the night and when they die out I throw this switch over here uh, and then that sets the second set to go so we can have hopefully this uh, posts for all night. I've done this before in the past and it's worked just fine. So having the, the two sets should do it. Um, I've also got our generator back here. Now I've set up a couple of things. One shotgun uh, turret here to protect above us from vultures. And the second thing I did was, and I don't have any way to get up here because I didn't bring any frames or wood, but there's an SMG turret up there uh, that's got a couple of uh, bars set in front of, front and behind it just to protect it from from cop spit or whatever But it's pointing down here. So if things go nuts Like if things go totally crazy, I can throw the switch on actually which one is which sorry this switch here So this one is for the the secondary um, the secondary posts and This one here is for the SMG turret and that SMG turret will turn on and shoot whoever's out here. So it's a way to th help thin the horde out a little bit. It's going to be off for most of the night. If we need it, we'll turn it on. Uh, if I get badly wounded or whatever, um, we'll turn it on. And then what, I do what I've done is I've uh, outfitted the TAC rifle with regular ammo. And the AK, which is the harder hitting of the two weapons. Uh, I've put uh, AP ammo in this. And that's for demos. We'll switch to this for the demos. And try and kill them real fast. Hopefully they don't, they don't like we can shoot them here and kill them here, rather than having them fall down. But if they do fall down, I mean we've got Molotovs, dynamite, and or not dynamite, but uh, grenades and pipe bombs we can toss down here. Uh, so yeah, we've got plenty of ammo. Uh, shotgun again, we're gonna use it for clearing stuff out. Made sure I had my first aid stuff on me. Uh, skull crushers we're gonna take just before the night. So you can stack these. I didn't realize you could stack them. So if I take three of them, they'll last for 15 minutes. So that's my goal. Is I'll take all three of them. That should last all night. And I've got my looting goggles and eye candy for the bags at the end. And we'll see how this goes. Let's get this turned on. So the shotgun turret is always on. And this guy is the first set of electric fences. And it's up and running now. And then when they die out, this one will come on. 
I will turn it on. But yeah, so I'm ready for the horde. Uh, my um, mods, weighted head, burning shaft mod, ergonomic grip, shotgun's got a rad remover, scope. I don't didn't have anything else to put on here. I just did put it on for extra damage and a shotgun choke mod. Uh, rad remover and extender clip for the attack rifle and the AK's got the muzzle brake mod, rad remover, extended magazine and bipod mod. Um, so we're doing hitting for 75 damage with AP ammo on that one, 63 on this guy, 17 times 10 on this one, so 170, and then of course power attack damage 70, which will be times 50%, so it'll be 105 once we get the skull crushers in us. All right, now let's have a look uh, before we start. Level 61, game stage 130, and 31, or sorry, 21, 32 kills. So we'll see how we do at the end of this. End of this, I'll try to make sure I try to remember to uh, throw that up so we can see where we're at. But game stage 130, I don't know if that's high enough for demos. Um, maybe, I don't know. I haven't been really pushing to do a lot of stuff between episodes. I've been mostly working on the house. Um, because I, I'm really enjoying the kind of setup of this base. Um, yeah, I think the dump and lung is like, I think probably so far my favorite base because it's it's extended upwards already. Um, it's already like like four blocks above the ground, the main floor of that place. And then once you reinforce the center the center plate the center piece to reinforce concrete or steel or whatever and then the the posts around the outside you reinforce them it's pretty sturdy it's not going to come down it would take a it would take a horde to do it but you're not using it as a horde base so it's not a big deal right if you want to use it as a horde base you probably could but it'd have to be set up a little different um, but yeah i'm really enjoying the, the uh, layout of that i kind of really like it i want to try and get a way that i can get a ramp that goes up uh, into that little gatehouse out there and then I can f turn this, flick this up and down so I can ride my motorbike in and out of it. But yeah, we'll see how that goes between episodes. Um, I don't know when the next one will be after this one. Um, I'm working on my Blasted Oasis series right now. Hmm, excuse me. And I've recorded up to episode 15 on that. I think at this point there's only nine posted, but I've got another six more already recorded. Um, second Horde Night was definitely fun. Uh, but it's a different base than this one. It's similar, slightly similar, the way this is set up, but it's on ground level, not above ground. All right, let's just wreck this horde and see how we do. 64 zombies. I'm inter interested to see how, uh, how this turns out. What's up, buddy? Oh, we got our first white. And radiated zombie. Uh, before I forget, go ahead and use this. Use that. And use it again. And use it again. And we'll use this. And I think we're good to go. Well, that handled it pretty well for us. Hey, buddy. He's dead. Uh, they're not, uh... Come on, guys. You gotta come up here. I was standing back, though, so... That's probably why. Come on, I'm right here. I should really see what they're doing down there. On insane difficulty, one uh, grenade's not going to do much. I'm just trying to prompt them to get away from there. Yeah, you saw him. He's like, no, no, I'm not going there.
So far, no cops. That's a good thing, I guess. No demos either. Burn, you bastards. Burn. Should probably check, uh... Like, the bars are taking no damage. I hate those whites, man. They got so many hit points. You can see, though, how problematic it's going to be if we lose the electricity. This would no longer be a melee option, it would be guns only. As it stands too, I don't know if this will last the whole night, even with two of them there. I think I should try and make a rocket launcher. I think that's probably going to be the quickest way to clear out the zombies below us. I'm almost afraid to back up and have a look and see what they're doing back there. Yeah, they're really working away down there. Now that shotgun turret is hitting somebody. I don't know who they're, I don't know what it's shooting at. It could be the guys coming up to the side, I think. So many whites, man. Still haven't been able to find a shotgun tube mod for this thing. Run shot! Dance for me you bastards, dance for me! Okay, they're coming up here a lot now. We can just kind of take our time and aim at these guys. Alright. This is like a headshot murder machine. All right, we're starting to lose our wires. All right, about halfway through the night, not bad. Okay, the close one seems to still be working. Oh, that's the wrong one. 
That's the right one. We're gonna run out of power just before the night's over. We're just gonna see how well they're doing down here. Where's that hitting? Ah. See if it sets those off. Yep, beautiful. Come on, you guys. Yeah, we definitely need the uh, tactical shotgun for this. Even if I had like three more rounds, it would make a difference. But with seven shots, it's like, I don't know. I should have just brought all shotgun ammo tonight. Huh. Happy Halloween. Look at this. Oh, someone got a hit on me finally. Alright, let's clear these guys out. Yeah, it definitely feels a lot crazier too with 64, eh? Like 32 was bad, but 64 is really like just insanity. I got a feeling we're going to have to throw that SMG turret on late, later in the night. We're just a little over halfway. I wonder if I could... Uh oh, too close. That kind of clears them off there a bit, eh? Like, the bars are taking no damage. Like, none. These guys just... So here's what's happening. I mean, it's probably pretty obvious. They run forward, they get stunned, and that gives the, the uh, me time to either shoot them in the head, or the, uh, the turret, the, um, the sledge turret, to just punt them right off. So they don't even get a chance to do anything. Come on, we'll get the hell out of the way. We should have like a um, a turret that would just drop grenades X amount of every second. Like you know what I mean? Like every you could set it for like every 30 seconds or whatever, right? Because then I would put it up and just have it constantly be dropping grenades down below. Man, these guys. Oh, that was a twofer, man. There's still at least look at the look at this. Yeah, they've gotten through there. I'm glad I reinforced it all the steel. Come on, you bastards.
All right, not bad. So we're part way through the night here. Hour and a half left. I feel pretty confident this horde's not going to take this place down. No demos though, so that's a bonus. I think next horde night we'll probably see our first view. No cops either, which is like so bizarre. Ah, that went too far, I think. Okay, is our shotgun turret out because... And... Surprise! This is just a fucking shredder of a base. I did not expect it to work this well. Alright, we've taken a bunch of damage too. It's not like they're not hitting us. I mean, I could stand back. But, uh, okay, we're losing our... Uh, We're losing our um, electricity here. We've lost it, I think. No, nope, we still got this stuff at our feet. He's just staring at me, huh? How am I gonna get to you? I think all the damage we've taken is spider zombies. That clears them out of the way. Where are you? So that shotgun turret is doing damage to them. I don't know if we're going to need the SMG turret though. Come on, you bastards, I'm right here. That's a lot of vultures. Whoops. Where's that grenade land? You really need a couple of them to murder those guys. Come on guys, I'm right here. Oh, she got a piece of me. Yeah, without that first line of defense, they're, they're hitting me. So I think I'm going to need to maybe get a third line out there too. Oh, they're, they're hitting me really good now. Um, there's the morning. So not bad. Alright, let's use pipe bombs instead here. And enjoy. What is it hitting? I guess it's hitting the, the thing up here. 
I don't know. Come on, you guys. Oh, Screamer, lovely. Might as well add to the night, huh? Come on, you guys. Let's finish this up. So this... Oops, he got a piece of me, too. So the Skull Crushers... Weren't needed. Oh, for fuck's sakes. What am I hitting? I don't understand what I'm hitting there. The bird's legs, maybe? I don't know. I've never had that problem before. Ah, damn it. I don't know where the hell that dog went, but he went flying. Oh, come on, buddy. I want to get my loot. And I'm not going down there. Almost done. God, the capability of this thing to headshot. Oh, it's a big guy. I thought it was a cop. Come on, you guys. How many we got left? Alright. Let's just use... Can we use one of these again? No. We gotta wait a few seconds here. One of these on. One of these on. What? Oh, one second. Ha, ha, ha. Make sure we're loaded. Come on, you bastard. I think that's it. Our chest survived. Look at this, barely any damage. It took the one plate out, and that's it. And the one block, and then the, the covering. Another plate down there. Wow. All right, let's get our looter, looter goggles on. And use this. Yeah, they lasted pretty well too. I think it's really only the demo zombies I'm gonna be worried about. Like, if one of them went off on, on that upper ramp, I think we'd be in a big problem. Oh. Where are you? Does that count as a scream? Sure was. Alright, we got some runners. This guy's not, though. Alright, let's finish looting here. Eh. Oh, Christ! Fuck off. Not gonna let me loot. Alright, we're out of space.
All right, let's keep going here. Now, somebody, w I think it was Anthony that was asking me if the loot will despawn, and it will. I think it's like 20 minutes, though. When I was playing on um, 90 minute days, I found that when I would kill the zombies early in the night, those bags would be gone by morning once the horde was over. But I found on this setting at 60 minute days, the bags are all there in the morning. All right, so we got some ammo back. Now, how do we do with Gak? That's the question here. So, got a little bit of food. We got an auger. Level 4 knife. A bunch of cash. I mean, I, I'm doing really well for money, so I'm not worried about money. Wow, we got like... Oh, we're, out. we're so thirsty. Oh, because I used two of those, uh... Right. The cast recipe. Steel head armor, which we can sell. Um, yeah, I got some stuff I can repair and sell. Nothing major. Uh, books that I've already got. Um, steel leg armor, which I can fix and sell. I don't run with heavy armor. I always just run with, um, I run with, um, light armor. So I'm wearing, uh, if we look at my character right now, I was able to make a set of, uh, level four. Um, I, I, I got the five and the six items off of questing and stuff, but I made some level 4 military armor. So, got a level 5 helmet, which you can, you can fix and sell. So yeah, that'll be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, well, I'll get the repairs done, and we'll see how we do. Alright, see you later. Alright guys, so as predicted, I did forget to go ahead and take a look at our game stage at the end here. So let's have a quick look. Um, so we went up two game stages. We only gained one level, which is kind of bizarre, but we went up two game stages. And we were at, what, 2132 I think beforehand? So 500 zombie kills? Yeah, something like that. Like I, it's end of day 50 right now when I'm recording this, but I only killed a handful of zombies today because I was on trader runs all day. So, yeah, about 500 zombies on the Horde night. So, yeah. Anyway, see you later.